I walked out the door and where my expedition is usually sitting, it was gone and um, I just, an utter panic overtook me. That was three days ago. Tina Loveday's Ford expedition was stolen from right under her nose. But not only did she lose a brand new car, she lost $20,000 worth of band equipment. She and her husband play in the Hudson Valley Band, Cloud 9. It was so much more than the truck being stolen, but our livelihood. She says right away the town of Poughkeepsie police was called. They were wonderful with their response time. Um, Officer Fasano took care of everything, and he had told me from the beginning, he says the car's going to pop up. But with every day that went by, so did a little hope. Kind of resolved to the fact that it was in a chop shop somewhere in the box, along with our uh, high-end musical uh, gear. It's kind of irreplaceable. In the meantime, Tina and her family made some changes in their lifestyle. We had the locks on our house changed because um, they had the keys to the house. I did not realize I must have left the keys in the car and uh, we didn't lock it. It, it. We live in a really safe neighborhood and I, I'm complacent, I guess, with locking keys in cars and, and houses. And uh, I've been living in the same house 25 years, never seen anything like this happen. And, you know, so this was a hard lesson learned, I'll tell you. <laughs> But through it all, Tina says the support from the Hudson Valley was incredible. We posted it on our Facebook page and of course all the fellow musicians, <laughs> you know, even our rival bands, there's a camaraderie there, you know, there's, there's uh, definitely honor among thieves, we'll say. <laughs> and they all rallied up and even though maybe we only have a thousand followers, we, of some of those followers, they have five or 10,000. So it went viral so quickly that within a few hours, thousands of people had been reached in a very short time. And we were getting all this outpouring support for donations of equipment because we do have a wedding this weekend. But then through the power of social media, a miracle. I was on Dutchess County Yard Sale on Facebook and um, I have to go up there because you know people sell things. Mm -hmm. And I remember coming across this the other night but I didn't notice, I didn't think, what was the chances of this being in my parking lot? So, you know, I was talking to my neighbor, everybody found the car suspicious because it's been parked out here like this for two days. Yeah. So I'm like, wait a minute. She's like, it might be stolen. I'm like, wait a minute, let me go up there. So I go up there, I look, and it said, expedition, whatever. I'm like, all right, expedition, LE. Then I read the plate, I'm like, wow. It really is the car. So first I called um, the guy, Wes. You know, she started telling me that she thought she found the truck. And then she said, hang on a second. And apparently she had called my wife immediately afterwards. Yeah. So she managed to three-way us and we had three of had both of us on the line. Yeah. So I mean, as soon as like she started describing what was going on and she gave the vicinity where she was, I turned the car around. And she was just so ecstatic, like, oh my gosh, she found the car. Wes is like, I'm on my way there now. <laughs> he was like, I'm going. We were like, don't move. <laughs> Today was one of the, the happiest days of my life. So um, I'm elated, I'm relieved. And uh, I just, uh, I have a, a newfound uh, belief in that people can do, as, as much as people do the wrong thing, there are people out there who will do the right thing. And through it all, Tina did not lose her faith. I prayed to him and uh, I kept asking God, please show me why this is happening. What is your plan for me? What is my lesson that you have planned for me that I need to learn from this? And when um, I spoke with him and I just said, we really, really need that equipment back because this is such an enormous part of our lives. And, um, and we got, we got, I got my prayers answered. And of all places to find her car, she found it on Church Street. Yep, after praying to God and St. Anthony, I found the car on Church Street. So uh, that says it all. <laughs>